Knights of Columbus and News 8 are pleased to highlight their works of charities throughout Connecticut, and today we're going to learn all about Build On. It's an organization that is helping to break the cycle of poverty through service and education. Jim Zylkowski is the president and CEO, and he's joined by Amy Cerzerzo, a senior at Central High School in Bridgeport, and also the leader in the Build On program there. Thank you both so much for being here. Oh, it's oh, great to be here. Uh, Jim, so tell me about the program. I know you started it back in the 80s. Well, we actually started in the 90s, and what we're doing is working to break the cycle of poverty, illiteracy, and low expectations through service and education. And the way we go about that is by running intensive after-school programs in inner-city high schools across the United States. Mm -hmm. And we get kids involved in, in very direct personal service, working with elders, homeless people, younger children in their communities to turn around their communities, and they change the world by building schools in developing countries. So at this point, we're working in Detroit, Chicago, Oakland, San Francisco. We're in the South Bronx, East New York, Philly, big time in Bridgeport, which is where Amy's involved. And our kids, students like Amy, have contributed over 1.2 million hours of service. Wow. 95% of these kids not only graduate, they go to college, like Amy, I'm sure, is going to. Yeah. And we've now built uh, over 600 schools. And Amy helped us build one in, in Malawi, Africa. Wow. Oh, that's great. So you got to see the world also being involved in the program. Yeah. Um, so talk to me about, uh, Amy, your family came to Bridgeport, and um, how did you get involved? Well, like you said, we came to Bridgeport from New York, and back then we used to live in an apartment. So I had a lot of high expectations for Bridgeport. You know, we were having our own house, you know, getting our own backyard, getting, you know, our own space. Mm -hmm. And so I had all these high expectations, but when I came to find out a lot of my neighbors and peers that I went to school with, had very negative comments about Bridgeport and I didn't really understand why and you know as I lived there for a couple more years I came to see that there are those acts of violence and school dropouts and many other aspects that you know give Bridgeport that bad, um, bad reputation mm -hmm. but I feel as if you know if something's broken then you should take action to fix it and it's through Build On that's offered me community service opportunities and many others that mm -hmm. I've been able to help fix my community or help give it a good reputation. I know that you had the opportunity to go to Africa. What else do you do a little closer to home? I love working with the senior citizens. Mm -hmm. So I love going, you know, there's a local senior citizens home and it's called the Watermark. And so sometimes, you know, we go and I go and we speak to the to the senior citizens just because they need somebody to talk to. Like, you know, everybody needs somebody sure. to talk to. And I'm sure you kind of learned a lot about yourself through volunteering. Oh, definitely. I feel like I've definitely um, grew personally. I'm much more comfortable making mm -hmm. stronger communications and stronger relationships with the people in my community. Very good. And uh, Jim, I want to ask you about your experience. Sure. Uh, you went to Africa several years ago and started the first school. Yeah. We, um, my younger brother and I founded Build On back in 1992. And the first school we built in Africa was in Malawi, where Amy also built a school. And it was a tough project. We, uh, both of us contracted malaria, and, and one day I, I had 104 degree fever and collapsed and lost consciousness. And by the grace of God, my brother was able to drag me into one of two hospitals that they had in the entire country at the time. Wow. And the doctor, when I came out of it, said, you know, one, two more hours away from this hospital and you would have been dead. Oh. And as I went back to the community to, to finish building the school, as I'm walking that last four or five miles, I realized when these villagers contract malaria, they don't have a, a near-death experience, they die. Mm -hmm. And I, I was really shaken up by that thought. And what can we do in the face of malaria? But then I thought to myself, if we could get this school built, then maybe they can break the cycle of extreme poverty through education. Because the reason I survive and they don't is extreme poverty. I don't suffer from extreme poverty, and they do. They don't have the $2 for a mosquito net. They don't have $20 to go to a hospital. Mm -hmm. So if we could break that cycle through education, then they don't need people like me to help them and we've gone on to build 600 schools since then wow. thanks to the incredible that is great. solidarity, enthusiasm, passion of students like Amy who have really stepped up to make change to transform their cities, their communities in Bridgeport and to mm -hmm. change the world. How do you raise funds for this? Well we're very fortunate we've got a lot of, of phenomenal support. GE which is headquartered here in Fairfield, Connecticut is a huge supporter and, and, and was from the get-go. I, I was on a fast-track finance program at GE before I left to start Build On. They have been involved ever since. We mm -hmm. also get support from Thomson Reuters and Ogilvy just stepped on as a, as a great partner. Deutsche Bank, uh, Citibank, Bank of America, a lot of great support. A lot of individuals sure. that step up oh, to help us out. Program. Um, Jim, tell me about your book. 
Well, we've published a book in, in uh, September 2013, and, and it's done really well. We made four bestseller lists. It, it just made the New York Times bestseller list oh, for great. education books. So we're, we're really excited about that. And the book itself is a testament, I think, to the tenacity and the, and the grit of the students that it get involved and build on mm -hmm. the circumstances that they're able to overcome the extreme circumstances and the way they're able to make change. So, if, you know, get a chance, check it out. There are a lot of heroic people like Amy <laughs> Sure. Who, are, who are really highlighted in we this really book. We really are here. Oh, thank you. Um, tell me how people can get involved with Build On. Well, we're, we're deeply embedded and invested in Connecticut. We're working in seven schools here. Our students have contributed over 200,000 hours of service. We're in Bridgeport uh, at three high schools there, Central, where Amy goes to school, and then mm -hmm. Bassick and Colby. And if you want to get involved, go to buildon.org, and you can find a way to either set up a chapter and you can come help us build schools overseas, or you can come and volunteer alongside people like Amy. Sure, Just go to good. buildon.org, and it'll... Well, we'll look for it there. Thank you so much awesome. uh, for both of you for being here and for what you do. Teresa, well, thanks thank a lot you. for having us. All it's right. great. Uh, the Knights of Columbus and News 8 invites you to get involved in your community. To learn more about Build On, you could visit uh, kofc.org slash charity CT or, of course, the website that Jim just mentioned. And we'll have a link over on WTNH.com. Just click on Style.